Welcome to The Huddle. I'm your host, Zachary Lund. And my co-host over here is Dan Abbotson. How's it going? So, Dan, uh, we have this week, we're starting off uh, with a hot topic, is soccer. Mm -hmm. uh, they are 12-0 uh, and 0 now. Yeah. They're still undefeated. Yep. Uh, what do you got to say about soccer with... Um, How's it going over there with the 12 and 0 team? You know, it's that's really exciting stuff. Anytime you're going undefeated, um, that's something to be watching. Um, something to really be excited about. Uh, they should be getting some bigger crowds at Chet Anderson Stadium. Go down there, check them out. Even if you're not a big soccer fan, this team's ranked sixth in the nation. Um, go check them out. They're going to be fun to watch. And actually, correction, they're actually ranked fifth now. Fifth. Yeah, my yeah. Bad. They're actually ranked fifth. They actually okay. just released that a couple days ago. Okay. That they're ranked fifth now. Cool. You're all good. Uh, Rachel Norton, mm -hmm. she's now breaking records yep. uh, with the leading score for BSU. Wanted to go into more detail maybe about yeah, that? Yeah, that, you know, she's got, I believe it's 42 goals now. Um, that's a great number. That's incredible. Um, anytime yeah. you break a big record like that in a school as old as Bemidji, that's pretty cool. Yeah, she's now the leading uh, goal scorer and point scorer. So now mm -hmm. she has 104 points. So. She's now the goal scorer leader and point scorer leader. So, I mean, that's a big, exciting news for her. Obviously, she's, she's going to be keep putting on that points and goals yep. as well. So, she's going to be even higher than in the old uh, record. So, that's I mean, right. I feel like she's going to smash it out of the waters mm -hmm. now. I believe there's six games left, so yeah, I'd have to agree with you on that. And she's obviously a big key of why they're undefeated. You have a, a player making records like that, yeah. you're going to have a good team. Uh, what do you think women's soccer team is they going to stay undefeated or what do you do you see any controversy you know, maybe of them losing it I hate to say it but going having a completely undefeated season is an incredible feat I hope the best for them I really hope they do it I just being realistic I just can't see it happening you know they have a couple they play Concordia and Minnesota State coming up um, they're both decent teams I feel like one of them might knock them off um, that's just how it goes in sports it, yeah. it's tough to be undefeated I hate to say it I hope it doesn't happen really really I'm hoping for that undefeated season but that's the way it goes I don't know yeah that's just a tough one with soccer mm -hmm. you know it's it can go either way because it's such a low scoring game. It's kind of almost like baseball, but mm -hmm. a little low score, more low scoring than that. Uh, let's go on to our next topic. We got football. Uh, this last week, they came back. Beavers came yep. back to win 25 21. Uh, what do you got to say about the, the comeback? Well, it's, it's a true, uh, true performance of grit and, and perseverance. You know, they were down 21 3 uh, after halftime. Um, then to score 24 unanswered points, that's pretty awesome. I know a lot of fans left at halftime because they were down by so much. It was a little chilly, but I'm going to say they missed out on a lot of fun. Got to see them jump in the lake with that homecoming win. Uh, missed out on some, some good football there. Yeah, especially against the Sioux Fall team that was, I think they were ranked, weren't they still? I think, I think 23rd. They were 20, yeah, 23rd. And uh, what do you think about that fourth down play that they went on? They were like at the 27th yard, mm -hmm. yard line where they could have kicked a field goal, but instead they went for the the score instead. They yep. actually went for a fourth down play and tried to pass it on a four and one. What do you think about that play? Was yeah. it a smart idea? You know, it's hard to say. It as a coach, you're making that uh, decision in a split second. It's hard to say. You know, we can be armchair quarterbacks all we want, sit back and watch it on the TV two days later and say, well, you know, if they had done this, it could have gone differently. Um, I like the aggressiveness. You know, if you trust your kicker, you can maybe kick it. But if you don't trust your kicker, you might as well go for it and try and get those six points. So I like being a little more aggressive. Um, didn't really pay off for him, but yeah, it you know it's not necessarily a bad call. Well, and they were in the lead still, so right. I, I'm guessing as the coach, he's sitting there kind of like, well, we're still in the lead. Mm -hmm. Might as well go for it. And I know you're talking about their uh, statistics, of, statistics about uh, kicking. They weren't yep. haven't been very good at field goal kicking percentage. So well, and there had been a bad miss earlier in the game. It the wasn't oh, even yeah. close. It was wide left, spiraling out of control. It was an ugly kick. So I think there might have been a little doubt in the kicker there. Definitely. So upcoming game against mm -hmm. Upper Iowa. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think about this upcoming game? Score, not score, but what do you think about the upcoming game, I guess? You know, they're two and four Upper Iowa is. Um, so on paper, they don't look like a solid team. But again, they're not going to be one. You can't just roll into this game and assume you're going to win. Uh, they have the second best passing defense or passing offense in the conference, excuse me. Um, so you can't can't take them lightly. You can't take any opponent lightly. If the Beavers don't prepare themselves this week and go in there thinking they're just going to roll all over them after a big win on homecoming, they might get their butts handed to them. But if they stay focused, they're going to come out with a win, I believe. Yeah. So I mean, they also have uh, bad rushing defense mm -hmm. on uh, Upper Iowa's team. Yep. 
So that could be another big thing because be, uh, Beavers love to run the ball a lot more than passing the ball, mm -hmm. especially with Brandon all out for yep. the, pretty much the rest of the season. Um, so, I mean, that is a big thing for Beavers when they already do 400-plus yards. Right. Uh, what do you think about our defense against the Beavers, you know, or not the Beavers, but against Upper Iowa? I think they should be able to take care of business. Um, they've been good all year long. Um, I can't see that. Again, they got to prepare. They got to do film. Um, they're a team that if you don't, you know, if you don't prepare for it, you're not going to be ready to go. Um, but if they do what they've been doing all season long, I think they're going to come out ahead. Yeah, and their defense has been solid about stopping mm -hmm. running game. I think it was like Absolutely. under 500. They're under 600 yards uh, rushing. Mm -hmm. uh, passing is about average for uh, defense of letting up for passing yards. Yep. So, I mean, it's really going to be good coming down if they're going to get that running game going. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if not, I mean, that's going to be a plus side for the Beaver defense. They can focus on more of their passing then. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, let's go up to our next uh, prediction for the game, for this up, mm -hmm. uh, Upper Iowa game. Yep, I see it. I think the Beavers are going to be ready to go. I can see them winning a the game like 33-10. Yeah, I, I really do agree with you with the Beavers. Definitely going to win this game. Uh, Beavers, uh, man, I think it's going to be probably like 30, uh, 33 to 7, possibly. Something, Something like, like that. that. I mm -hmm. think I'm pretty much agreeing with the score. You yeah. Guys, yeah, Chav. <laughs> yeah, uh, and you know, one more note. It's a, this is going to be actually a bigger game because they play Minnesota State next week, who's ranked number one um, in the nation. And so that's going to be a tougher game, and you don't want to fall into that two, three losses. So if you drop this game, you might drop that Minnesota State game. You don't want to fall into that trap. So if they got to stay ahead of this one if they want to be in playoff contention still. Yeah, and Minnesota State's 5-0 still mm -hmm. right now. Right. So, I mean, that's just another thing. They're going to have to play against them, and are yep. they mentally prepared for that? Right. Um, that'll be another test. Um, now, let's go on to our next topic with hockey. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, Beavers playing against UND. Um, they won last week against Lakehead 5-1, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. which was an exhibition game. Yep. So, exhibition, they are a Canadian team. They aren't very, uh, I don't know, they supposedly aren't that great of a team anyways. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know if that's really a true test to help them out with the UND game. What do you think? It's hard to say. You know, in an exhibition, you're giving guys time to play. You're trying to figure out what your line combinations are going to be, what your D pairings are going to be, who's going to be in goal. You know, they saw three different goalies on Saturday. So, it's just kind of a, a chance to get them on the ice, get them hitting some other people. You get tired of hitting your own teammates, so I'm sure they're anxious to do that. Um, but again, it's not really, you can't say, oh, well, we win the, ex the exhibition game, we're going to go undefeated, or oh, we lost it, we're going to be completely out. You can't do that at all. It's ultimately a meaningless game, just a chance for fans to get in the rink, watch some hockey, and for the players to get their legs underneath them again. Yeah, totally. Uh, for this upcoming game against UND, right, mm -hmm. uh, what do you think what do you think is going to happen in this next coming, upcoming game? Is UND with their score, they're ranked, what, 13th mm -hmm. in the USCHO? So, I yep. mean, they're not ranked as well as they were before, but how do you think they're going to play out with UND? You know, it's going to be a fun game. I think the atmosphere is going to be rocking. Anytime you play North Dakota, it's going to be a lot of fun. Sanford Center is going to be packed. It should be packed. Um, I'm looking forward to it a lot. I think it's going to be fun. I, it's hard to say they're a good team. Both of them are good teams. Um, I can see, you know, they play each other back to back, so they'll play at Sanford Center on Friday and then go to North Dakota on Saturday. Yeah. Um, I could see a split in those two games. You know, Bemidji takes the first one, North Dakota takes the other one at home. Um, it's hard to say, though. It's hockey. You know, you could have bad puck luck, so who knows. Um, it, I'm looking forward to it, though. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, and then uh, Beavers have a starting goalie. Uh, uh, Johnson is their mm -hmm. goalie now. Is with him being his first season technically actually being the starting goalie, is that going to be a little rough for him? Because last season I think he only played one game. Yeah, there will for sure be some nerves anytime you're out there in a new role. That you don't know, you know, is he going to step up? And I, Coach clearly has trust in him, so I would assume he will. Um, there's definitely going to be some jitters out there. Yeah, and so your prediction is uh, there's going to be a split kind of a game. Mm -hmm. So Beaver's going to win home, you think, and then uh, UND's going to win there at their home. Yep. I, it's home crowd advantage. That's what I see. You know, in hockey, it's not as big of a deal, but it's typically the way you see. You get that crowd behind you, you get some juices flowing, and it's just you ride that wave. Yeah. Uh, what do you think is the game to watch this upcoming week? You know, it, we've got a lot of great stuff. You know, soccer, you want to watch and keep them undefeated, but I think it's Bemidji. It's the state of hockey. Um, I think that Bemidji North Dakota game, anytime you get those two teams playing against each other, it's going to be a lot of fun. So yeah. I'd say be there. 707's puck drop at Sanford Center on Friday. Get there, be there, cheer loud. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right. 
Well, that ends our show to, uh, for this week. We'll see you guys next week. Thank you.